The Indian Air Force has deployed a variety of air defense systems such as Soviet era OSA AKM, Pechora, Israel's Spider Quick Reaction Missiles, Indigenous Akash Missile System, Barak 8 medium range surface to air missile systems. In 2018, Air Force has also inked a landmark deal with Russia for supply of five squadrons of S-400 for $5.3 billion. Indian Air Force has received the three squadrons of S-400 and have been deployed in Northeast and East India to cater for the China and Pakistan. The remaining two squadrons of S-400 will be delivered in next one year. At the same time, India has initiated the much needed development of indigenous S-400-like surface to missile system, which is called as Project Kusha. So under Project Kusha, India is developing a layered long-range surface to air missile system called LRSAM. This system will be capable of detecting and neutralizing stealth fighter jets, crew missiles, drones, precision guided munitions for a maximum range of 350 kilometers. Its capability of interception is comparable to the famous Russian S-400 surface to air missile defense system. The Cabinet Committee on Security has already cleared the development of LRSAM in May 2022 as a mission mode project. In September 2023, the acceptance of necessity was granted for the procurement of five units of LRSAM at a cost of Rs 21,700 crore. A lot of development work since has commenced on LRSAM by DIDO as multiple tenders have been floated in the last couple of months for development of various components of this missile system. As per the October Times of India report, the LRSAM will be ready for deployment by the year 2028-29. The LRSAM will be a mobile system with a long-range surveillance and fire control radar. The long-range radar, which are generally in VHF range or S-band, are used to scan, search and track the aerial targets at a very long range and the fire control radar, which is generally in L or X-band, are used for interception and guide the surface to air missile towards the aerial target. The LRSAM will feature three different types of missile, which can neutralize aerial targets from the range of 150 km, 250 km and 350 km. These missiles are code named as M1, M2 and M3 respectively. While there is no clarity on the missiles that will form the part of LRSAM, the M1 missile which is most likely going to be a derivative of MRSAM similar to Barak Air missile with dual pulse rocket and an additional booster. M2 will be a new missile to be developed but can be expected to borrow capability from M1. This missile will have a range of 250 kilometers. M3, which will be a much larger missile, it will be able to intercept aircrafts from a range in excess of 350 kilometers. It's most likely to be derived. It features from BMD interceptor missiles, which are known for long range interception. The LRSAM is expected to have a single shot kill probability of not less than 80% and 90% in salvo mode. It will be able to engage targets of size of fighter aircraft from a range of 250 kilometers. The larger aircrafts such as transport aircrafts or refuelers and awoks can be engaged from a range of 350 kilometers. Once developed, LRSAM will work in tandem with other air defense systems such as MRSAM and S-400 surface to missile systems. The firing units of LRSAM will also be integrated with Indian Air Force IACCS that is Integrated Air Command and Control System which is fully automated air defense network with data links being progressively built to integrate the wide array of radars with each other as well as with civilian radars for surveillance of Indian airspace. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, 
I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.